everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the smallest travel trailers in the entire RV industry. This one's so small, it could be towed by almost any vehicle with a hitch. And what's even cooler is these are imported from Denmark. This is a 2022 Hero Camper Ranger. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Hero Camper and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you guys this awesome lightweight, easy to tow camper, the Hero Camper. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will. Nope, I'm Lonnie, here with Matt to show the Hero Camper. I come from uh, the manufacturer, Perfect. Hero Camper. Thank you so much for helping us today. Uh, anything you want to say to America personally? I, I know you got some family. Want to say hey to them? Yeah, everybody that knows me, this is my first time on YouTube. Perfect, Howdy. well we enjoy having you. Lonnie, let's begin. So All right. model is the Hero Ranger. What's the actual tip to tip length? Okay, tip to tip, it's 15 feet, nine inches. Okay, the dry weight? The dry weight is just shy of 20,000, or sorry. Whoa, 20,000, <laughs> man, Lonnie. The dry weight is just shy of 2,000 pounds. Okay. And with, that's without the tent. Yes. With the tent, it sits a little over 2,100 pounds. Perfect, and the tongue weight? The tongue weight's about 200 pounds. Perfect, again, guys, I'm saying almost because of legal reasons but almost any vehicle with a hitch can tow this always know before you tow lonnie let's begin with uh what's going on up front there all right so up front well first i'm sorry i'm messing it all up who is hero camper so hero camper is a uh manufacturer from denmark yes this is the only camper we manufacture there's different models of it, uh, but this is the one that's exclusive to the United States, which is the Ranger, which happens to be fully decked out. Okay, perfect. And uh, real quick, guys, I, listen, I need you guys to comment down below because we need this video to do extremely well because if it does well, we'll go to Denmark and we'll do a factory tour, but only if it does well. So show us what we got going on here. Yeah, tell us what you like about it. Yes. So the first thing to talk about is just the story behind it. As we, as Matt, Matt mentioned, it comes from Denmark, and that's very important because uh, in Europe things cost more, and the consumer there is different. The consumer yes. in Europe demands a high quality, long lasting product, which is what we brought here. Yes. The Hero Camper. This Ranger is built like nothing else on the market. Okay. The the specs, the tolerances are more like a car than uh, than your typical RV. Wow. It's very very rugged, very very well built. The engineers behind it, they built it for a consumer that wants to buy something that's that they can take off road. Yep. That they can go further out, explore nature. Yet it's going to last, and they're going to have it for a really long time. I love it. I love it. So let's jump into it, the Hero Ranger. What we start with is this cabin. If we can kind of... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's start with the hitch first. Okay. All so right. is that an articulating hitch? Okay, so starting up here, we just have a standard ball hitch. Okay. Um, this, so connected to our chassis. So a couple things that make this different. One is that we don't use an electrical brake. We use a surge oh, brake. Oh, okay. I was like, is that an articulating hitch? So that's a, a so when you break, that's going to compress Correct. and then stop the trailer. Exactly. The momentum of the trailer compresses a piston, which activates the brake. You see these kind of brakes often on boat trailers. Oh, okay. And the reason you see that is boat trailers go into the water, ah. and and uh, you can't take a electrical brake system into the water. Makes sense. Well, we built this for people who want to be able to go further. Not in the water, but want right. to be able to go further. Hey, We're... you know there's going to be one person that takes this camping <laughs> in the water. I can't water. wait to see that YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. So people, you know, whether they're going through some puddles and some snow, uh, that's kind of where we start, that that's going to get them there. It's then it's then built on this chassis. This yeah. chassis is a high grade, really strong steel that is hot dip galvanized. Okay. So being hot dip galvanized gives it an incredible resistance to corrosion. So if you want to go camp on the beach 
or you want to go camp in the snowy mountains this this will get you there and you don't have to worry about the corrosion on your camp like the rust and everything right exactly okay exactly what do we got going on under here so right here you have we call this our gas box the battery is stored in here and then un inside of here is your air conditioning unit oh really okay so when you're in that extreme heat this camper will keep you cool up here you have included and integrated is a 140 watt solar panel guys i'm not sure if you can see this on camera but these are little squares that's such a smart design because it blends in so much you can barely even tell that it's solar yeah so and the other thing with this with this solar panel is we had a hard time finding a flexible solar panel right. that, that was up to our standard so we basically commissioned this one to be made for us oh wow and uh it's very very rugged obviously there's going to be some rock chips stuff like that as you travel down the highway and and this can take it this material comes out of the boating industry you can dance on top of it if you want to perfect let's go around this way so here when it's time to take out we'll take it out you have a included is your tooling awning okay and also included is a spare tire oh hang on a second look at these tires lonnie they're land sales i love those 265-65 r17 very nice so what we have we have our own aluminum uh rim 17 inch rim with a 31 inch tire yes then you'll also see our fenders yeah uh, very sturdy fenders these are have been tested to 450 pounds wow so anybody can climb on these so wait you're saying if you weigh 450 pounds you can climb on it you can climb because it, it says max load 80 kgs first what the heck is 80 kgs so 80 kgs is about 200 pounds okay and yes we put that on as a very very safe number probably before we even tested it yeah but it's actually been tested to 450 pounds oh well well then why don't you hold this yeah, there you go. Dude, it's not flexing at all. So, and you know, I'm probably 80 kgs or something like that. <laughs> Keep on going. All right. So, and, and the strength comes from, and this just goes into the engineering on this. Yeah. There's, so in Denmark, about 50% of the population, I think, are engineers. Okay, very nice. So you'll see, this is just one of the many, many details that, that these uh, heavy duty fenders the aluminum that it's made out of, this tubing for the frame of the fender is a single piece, no welds in it. Nice. Which which is an engineering feat, and it also helps make it very strong. Perfect. So while we're out here, and we'll talk about this, as you can see, this, uh, all the metal that's bolted onto it, our, our uh, tire mount, our fenders, our roof rack, our ladder on the other side, including our cabinets inside and out, all of this metal is is a high grade aluminum that's corrosive resistant and then on top of it we, we put a powder coating so it's highly corrosive resistant and it, it's uh, lighter weight and very durable nice right here it looks like this is where our potable water fill goes yep potable we have a uh, eight gallons of fresh water yep. with a fresh water tap that we'll show you okay and then what the heck's that right there this is your stabilizer so once you find your place that you're gonna be spending the night you drop your stabilizing jacks and it just gives it a little bit more uh, stability as you move around inside. Perfect. Coming around the back, we do have a nice egg-shaped aerodynamic design. So one thing I'll point out, which we don't have it hooked up to a vehicle, but integrated into the profile here, we have uh, your, your running lights. They're yeah. LED, your brake lights, running lights, turn signals, all integrated. Really, really sharp looking. You can see it in action on our website, herocamper.com. Very good. So open up you have your outdoor kitchen man very nice and we have a stainless steel countertop okay with an integrated sink interesting instead of a drop-in sink on formica or something like that where you have to seal it and you have to worry about keeping those seals up you don't have any of those issues you have an on-demand tap so when you turn it on the water pump turns on and then all of these cabinets again is that aluminum it's powder coated with industrial grade hardware wow plenty of storage space here you have room for a cool box with a power supply yeah right behind there and extra cabinets for storage and then you have power up here uh, to either put your cooktop or um, in my case a coffee maker that yes up here, your light switch and this is our kitchen and here you have a couple racks where you can uh, decorate your kitchen and hang your plates and your spices and your nice. silverware so you have lots of storage 
and uh, you can set up it's very versatile you can set up your kitchen however you want now do they do you guys have the optional refrigerator that comes in this size we do we have a branded uh refrigerator oh, okay. good a cool box that's that you can see on our website cool so as we come around here you have the ladder that uh can access the optional rooftop tent so yes. you can buy this with or without the rooftop tent okay and i think we're gonna get to uh, I'm going to get to show you how easy that opens up. Yes. And uh, before we get to this, should we do that right now? Yeah, let's do it okay. now. All right. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, uh, they have about three Hero Campers here. You can set it, start setting okay. it up. They got about three Hero Campers here. Only this one has the Sky Box. The other two doesn't have the Sky Box, but you can always add the Sky Box after the fact. Look at that nice sturdy ladder. Very nice. So we got latch. I gotta undo the latch on this side. Alright. So there's a few latches. Oh yeah. Try number two. I'm gonna pop this bad boy up. Just Goes like right that. Mm, mm, mm. And we're gonna pull the elastic strap out of the way. Okay. Keep bundled up nice and tight. Yes. And then we're gonna pull out the ladder. And here we go. You just grab the ladder there. Oh, look at that. Whoa. And it unfolds. Not quite done yet. Once you pump, once you unfold it, you got you have your little rain flap here that protects you from the elements. You slide this up all the way up. Make sure we go all the way and then lock it into place. Inside of here, your entrance, you have your uh, waterproof cover. Yes. And you also, when you want to enjoy that nice breeze, you have your your bug your bug screen. Yes. And you have three more windows inside of here, each each one with the same. You can cover it up or have a bug screen. Very nice. So these these just roll right up. We attach both of these. Makes coming in and out real easy. Also want to point out. Here, take the camera up there. All so right. Show what you see. So inside here, we have a really comfortable mattress. Okay. We'll talk about the comfort of the inside, but this mattress is made out of the same material as as the uh, mattress inside of it. This is another thing that makes helps us stand out uh, um, with. Uh, against other RVs is that it's you start with a really good mattress. These are really, really comfortable mattresses. So inside here, we have a window here, a window here. All right, both of these side windows has a rain flap so you can oh. still enjoy this in inclement weather. Yes, look at that. So we have these on both sides. Okay. And then we have another window, a nice little skylight. Perfect. Let me uh, climb up there with you. And how, what's the max weight up here? The max weight of the tent is approximately 600 pounds. Whoa. So these roll up individually. Okay. And actually, you've, like I said, you have your your, right. uh, your um, bug screen. And when you want to sleep in and you want it dark, you just close this up and it's blacked out. I love this. So spend a couple minutes setting all this up. Yeah. You can have a cool breeze. You could hang out in here, listen to the rain. You can really, really enjoy nature with this setup. Yeah, for sure. And just so you guys know, we're going to put Lonnie's uh, contact info 
down in the description below if you guys want to contact him and ask him any questions. One thing that I really like and respect about Lonnie is, in no disrespect to anybody else, is Lonnie was a hero customer first and then became a factory rep, That's... which is really cool. Yeah, I fell in love with it and uh, so much that I contacted them and said, we need to bring these to the United States. I bought these directly from Denmark. They didn't sell them in the United States. Oh, wow. I, I had to buy it and, and, and uh, pay for shipping Wow. Um, over here. And uh, several years later, here we are. Here we go now. Yes, sir. Oh, now man. you're on the world's greatest YouTube channel, just like That's that. That's right. It's, it's been a, a fun journey. So now we got that rain flap set up. And here you go. Up, up top here, you have a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. Wow. Very nice. Right now I'm looking out, out the, uh, the uh, opening here at Matt, but you could be looking at some mountains. You could be looking at the view. Yes. The ocean. Yes. Or in my case, Matt. This is great too. Yes. Perfect. Cool. Very easy and nice to set up. I've heard this nickname, the tree house, the man cave also the dog house perfect and before we show everybody the uh inside let's get this awning set up you guys seen us set up this awning before these are the Thule awnings so these doors just open up we'll do the awning and then we'll we'll talk about the interior too. yes yes so while he's doing that i want to show this door really nice thick door okay uh dual pane windows euro style you got your daytime shades and your privacy shade here just like that really really easy simple and nice so what we do we come about halfway open and then i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna open pull out the support legs prop them up Lock it into place. Okay, then we come over to this side. Yes. And we're gonna drop this leg down. Set it up. And now we're just gonna kind of walk it out the rest of the way. All here. right. Now walk it out. We're camping now. All right. We'll plop this right back in its in its nice little home. There's a bracket in there to store that. And now you get to hang out. Yes. Sip a cold beverage and enjoy your view. Yes, sir. Let's check out the inside. All right. So the cabin. Um, as we talk about this, this you can is... hold this. Let me get the other door open for okay. some lighting. All right. And you can talk about it. So the cabin here, this is kind of the secret sauce of Hero Camper. We call this the cocoon frame. So what makes Hero Camper very, very different than anything else on the market is the way this cabin is constructed. Keep on talking. Hey, Matt, how comfortable is that? Man, like a zero out of 10. I'm at a 10 <laughs> out of 10. It actually really is comfortable. So what were you talking about All right. with the cocoon frame? So the cocoon frame is, this cabin is, is assembled out of five solid pieces. This entire wall here is one solid piece. This, the roof is the same material. It starts here and goes all the way to the top of the kitchen. Okay, very nice. It is a solid piece. The way these are built is that two pieces of fiberglass reinforced panel are placed inside of a mold. And then that mold closes and a uh, high density foam, a PVC foam is injected into it. And what that foam does is it gives it incredible rigidity. Yep. It makes it so strong. These panels are so strong that this rooftop rack, which comes on every single Hero Ranger, it's tested at a static weight to hold 1,100 pounds. Dang. That's how strong this, this is. So this body from the sides, the roof, all the way around 360 degree coverage including the floor is made out of this material so it's incredibly strong 
in incredibly durable. It's low maintenance. You'll see that we don't have silicone that you have to maintain. Right, so right. In incredibly low maintenance. But the great thing about it is that one is that you don't have any water penetration. This wall is solid, so you don't have anything in here that's going to rust. So no glue on. Exactly. Okay. Because it's made in a vacuum mold, you're not going to have delamination. And because it's it's over an inch thick of foam that's injected in there, and you have it completely all the way around you, is that it gives you incredible insulation. You know, these are used in the mountains of Norway, and people stay comfortable in them. I love it. So uh, as we move inside here, uh, I want to go back to the engineering and the original thought behind the design. A lot of the engineers that designed this were avid outdoorsmen themselves. Okay. And they created a real strong, real durable camper, but they also want to be very comfortable at night. So what they started with is a really comfortable, it's almost a, a six inch thick mattress. It's a dense foam yes. that is very, very comfortable. Next thing you have is with the comfort is these are taller than typical teardrops. Climb on in there. How tall are you? I am five foot ten, okay. and, and I'm comfortable in here. Yes, sir. Uh, and you have lots of space. You have about another queen size bed inside of here. Okay. And and then inside of here, for all your comforts, when you're inside here, is you have. Uh, I'm climbing in here too, Lonnie. You have some a lot of storage. Okay, and these are aluminum doors. Yep. Same aluminum powder coated. So you have this storage and then also behind your seats, you have some more storage. And then this is also where some of our electrical components are kept. Yes. You have your battery charger, your power distributor, your solar controller. And then right here is where the air conditioning blows out. Oh, very nice. And then you have some extra uh, storage space in there as well. Okay, so how's that AC blowing out when, when this cushion's back? So it blows out, there's a vent oh, right at the, the top, top and uh, it blows out right over your I head love it. and keeps you cool. And being a small space, it doesn't take much energy to keep this right. comfortable. Right. Now I see there's seat belts in here, but those are for the cushions, not these for are, transport. These are for your kids. Yes, yes. No, <laughs> just kidding. You. So when you travel, you're going to want it, you're probably going to store some of your chairs and your coolers and some of that stuff back oh, here. Oh, smart. Want it, you don't smart. want it to rattle around. So you have a big heavy duty strap that you can strap your gear down. Very smart. And then what do we got going on right here? Just some extra storage space. Okay. No, I'm at right oh, there. Oh, right here. Uh, this is your, your uh, air conditioner control unit. Okay. Keep you comfortable. Your thermostat. Perfect. And then, yeah, keep going. And then uh, you also have three windows. So you have this rooftop window and then each door has a window. Yes. And as you're right there, I'll show you on the door. So every single one of these windows, they open up. You can you can prop them open. Yes. Um, you can close them. You can keep, have that breeze going at night. Yes. And they're dual pane. They're dual pane. Yes. Well insulated. And then again, for comfort, if you want to have them open and you're, it's a time of year for mosquitoes. Yes, you've sir. Got your bug screen. If you want to sleep in and keep that sun out, you've got your blackout shade. Yes, sir. And then what do we got going on back there? I see those are like two panels or whatever. So those two panels is pre plumbing for a uh, diesel heater that, that is an option that's available. Oh, okay, good. And so you can take, there's venting that would go inside there. Yes, now if you hold this camera, let me. So I'm 5'4", I got a few inches above me, a few inches below me. So I'd say if you're 6'1", six, 6'2", six, no, at, at about 6'2", or 6'3", that's when you're gonna have to start curling up in a ball song. Well, I, I can speak to that. Okay. I have a friend that's six foot four that owns one of these. Okay. He and I were the first people to buy them in the United States and he was comfortable at Good. six foot four. Good. When I was at a recent RV show, I had a gentleman who was six foot nine. I said, Hey, you gotta you gotta test this. Yeah, his his head and his feet were touching at the same time. Okay. But he said this was bigger than most RV uh, True. beds that he's used to. True. And that he was comfortable in it. Okay. So at six foot nine, he gave his stamp of approval. Great. And then the only thing I'm looking for where would somebody mount a TV? We don't have a TV mount. That's actually that's actually very deliberate. People ask about okay. that. Okay. We're we have a really good camper and and we sell the quality and the engineering, but we really market to people who want to be outside, who appreciate being outside, who appreciate the outdoors, and then and then at night 
they want to be comfortable. However, if you still want to watch a movie, you can mount something there. You have 110 volt power as long as you have short, short power. Right, right. But you're not going to have coax, but you know, just bring your iPads, folks. You yep. know? Or your laptop. Yep. I watch TV when I yeah. camp in I mine. Mean, don't get me wrong. I love the outdoors, but I got to see my survivor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> cool. Anything else you want to touch on on this? Or is it time that we give people three things we like, three things we don't like? I, I think it's time to move on. All right. Well, thank you so much for helping us today. And if you can now hold the camera for me, as nice as this unit is, and as great as it is, and as much we appreciate Lonnie, Lonnie, you know the rules. It's now time we give you three things we like about your camper, three things we don't like about it. What would you like us to do first? Let's let's go with the don't like. First, okay, you want to stand on a positive note. Don't like number one is gonna be that there's no coax in here. No place for a TV. Um, even though we, I know what you're saying and I understand, and the person who's buying this probably isn't gonna watch TV anyway. I personally, you know, like to watch TV. But at the same time, respectfully, you don't need a coax anymore because nobody watches actual television. They just, like I have a fire stick or whatever TV. So, you know, as long as you got power, that's acceptable. That's dislike number one. Dislike number two, back here. You said the refrigerator's optional? Yes. Don't like how it's optional. Personally, I think every unit should have a fridge um, and it should be a standard, not an option, my opinion, because um, everybody needs a fridge, outdoorsmen, indoorsmen. Uh, I, I personally, and what I mean is, and maybe you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I would imagine most people would want the fridge before, during, or after the fact. So that's number two, and then dislike number three. Oh, I got the dislike number three. Personally, I don't like these awnings. And what I mean is, I don't like these awning legs. Now, for me, setting them up, they sound like nails on a chalkboard to me. You know what I'm saying? When you're like, you know, personal dislike, not a huge fan of that. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Lonnie, would you like to do three things we love about it? Sure. Tell us, give me, be a salesman now. All right. Give us three reasons why this unit's better than its competition and why somebody should buy this over the competition. Well, number one is the engineering and the construction behind it. Okay. I talked about how it's it's made different. Yes. And I'm built different. It, it, it's just, this thing is is rugged. Yes. And if you're the kind of person that you can you want to be comfortable and stay at an RV park and have hookups, you have that option. Okay. But if you want to go boondocking and you don't want to see anybody when you're camping and yes. you want to you go really adventure, yes. this can get you off the beaten path. I love it. It's not a Swiss Army knife of campers. It's a Denmark uh, knife of campers. Correct. Yes. That's number one. Number two is... I have owned one of these for five years. I imported mine from Denmark. Yes. And, and it is... I've owned four RVs in my day. It's by far the most comfortable one to sleep in. Yeah, no, I must concur with that mattress. I love how comfortable it is. Yes. I love, I, I love at night, um, I, I love bedtime at yeah. night in my camper. Yeah, it, yeah, no, I agree. I, I think that's really important as well because so many manufacturers, they focus on, you know, some focus on price point, some focus on quality but none of them's focusing on one of the most important parts, which is the sleeping application version of it. So I think that's really important as well. And I would say the third thing is just the size and the versatility of it. Yes. With being 15 feet long, being able to tow it with almost anything, I can tow it with every, I can tow this with every car that my family owns. We have four of them. I okay. have a couple kids. Yes. Every, uh, myself, my wife's car, and my kids' cars can all tow this. I love it. And the height of it as well. I mean, it can fit in some garages and everything. Obviously, don't just put this in a garage. Measure your garage first. But it's not too tall, and, and it's very lightweight. Yeah, and it and it's really easy to maneuver. Uh, when, when I go really off-grid and into the forest, and I have to get between some trees, I can take this where I can't take my big RV. Perfect. Well, Lonnie, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. 
Lonnie, what is the MSRP of these units? All right, so the MSRP of these units is $42,800. Wow, that's with a tent or without a tent? That's with everything here. Okay, okay. Sale price, as you guys know, we can't give you a sale price. And this one actually got sent in. Um, well, actually the three here at RV1 of Tampa. If you guys are seriously interested in this and you're seeing this within the first week, oh, I'm really dark on camera. If you guys are seeing this within the first week, give us a call because uh, these have special marketing dollars. So these are a little bit lower MSRP. But if you were to order one today, it'd be about $43,000. And guys, if you order it six months from now, who knows? They might be 63,000. You know, nobody knows because uh, as you guys know, the RV industry is crazy and the prices keep going up, up, and up. But here's what I do know. We are now part of RVR, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So it doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, Texas, or California, we have an RVR dealership close to you and we will be able to sell you a Hero Camper. We're gonna get you a great price, great service, and the best buying RV experience in the industry. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Lonnie, is there anything you wanna to say to America? Just wanna say hi and thank everybody for watching. Yeah, anything else? Nothing. I don't anything, have any, any, this is your moment to this say is anything my moment. to America. Well, I want to see the Hero Camper community grow and we start meeting up every once in a while. And do you I have a Facebook group? We do. Uh, we have a Hero Camp, both Instagram and Facebook. T tell us. We have Hero Camper and Hero Camper North America. I really want to see our, our Hero Camper community here grow. Okay, and how does somebody get in contact with you if they have questions first before they want to talk to an RV retailer salesperson? If you go to our website and you have a question, just hit the button to contact us and it'll give you an option to put in a message that's going to come directly to me and I'll get right back to you. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming here to help us because truthfully, I didn't know much about this thing. So thank you so much for your assistance and uh, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Lonnie, We'll see you next time.